Than here. So this is actually a burnt out old cinema. This move is a really beautiful move to go into from a weave. So we start in just a regular figure of eight forward plane weave. And this links to the weave breaks video that I did. So if you're a bit unsure of how we get into it, go and look at the weave breaks video. So when it's on the same side of our body as the hand that's holding it, we're going to bring it up and over and tuck it under our arm. When we push it back around, so our knuckles are facing um, our left, if it's in our right hand, and mirror that if it's in your left hand, we come around, down, and we actually, from this awkward position, we're really just rolling the hoop up our forearm and tucking in next to our bicep just here. So in fast forward, the break looks like underarm, push forward, around, roll up, Try not to hit yourself in the face. So, under tap, push forward, roll up, break. So here, it looks really lovely if you do like a little back bend. Uh, from here, we're gonna come over forward, watch the hoop as it comes down past your foot, up behind your back, so keep watching it, as it comes over the top. And as it's on its way back down, you're going to turn to your left if it's in your right hand. So it sweeps down in front of your body and you can frame it here, underneath, or back into the back break. So following the same line back, we can come forward, over, around, and we can frame here on the top. So I'll do that one more time. From a forwards weave, break under the arm, push back, roll up, and tuck on the outside of your bicep. Little lean back. As it comes forward, we're gonna watch it come over our head, our index fingers leading, down to the ground, so our index fingers now to the ground, behind our back, so keeping that nice flat plane. Watch the hoop as it comes over your head, and on its way down, little step to the left, so I move my right foot out, so that I get that swivel and frame here or here. The other thing I've been playing with, which is a little bit awkward but totally possible, is instead of turning to the side that the hoop's not on, so if it's in my right hand, we've been turning here to our left. What I've also been playing with is keeping that same grip down to the ground, up and around, and then on its way back over, turning the right and you get this kind of cross frame. I'm not sure if you can see where I'm standing so let's do that again from this side as well. So we've got a break, push, outside break, over and turning to our left. Or from the break, up and over, down, around, follow it and as we bring it down, turn to our right and we get this interesting line here, which is a great place to go into folds from. Um, also the place that you land in this regular, the regular version from here. When you land here, there's so much you can go into. You could go into um, a weave here. You could go into um, just a regular spin. You could go into from here you could change your grip and bring it into some kind of smear type move. So it leads to lots of things and I just really encourage you to play with it because both the, um, yeah, from this particular break position it can lead into lots of things but also the frame that you end up in can lead to lots of things as well. So hopefully you 
got it, feel free to ask me questions. If you didn't, um, you can find me on Facebook at Hoop Sparks. And you can also sign up to a newsletter to receive these tutorials and other yummy recipes and Hooplicious delights um, in your inbox every couple of weeks. So have a beautiful day and happy playing.